Hey guys, this is lesson eight, and uh, let's get started with problem solving strategies. So um, it says solve problems by uh, organizing data in a table. Okay, so Jack chooses new inline skates from the models below. So here we have the models, the name of the models, and the prices. Okay, so Jack wants to buy the second most expensive model but his parents wanted to buy the second least expensive model. Okay, so most and least. Um, which models are these? What is the difference in price of the two models? Okay, so let's look at number one. What are you asked to find? Okay, what are we asked to find? The difference in price of the two models, right? And what are the two models? It's the, um, it's the second most expensive model and then the second least expensive model. Okay, so difference in price of the two models. Okay, um, number two, what information is given? Well, we're given the different models and their prices, right? That's our data. So, um, different models, oh my gosh. Okay, models and their prices. Okay, um, number three, what strategy will you use? Well, can you guess? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? It says make a table, so we're gonna make a table. Um, by making a table. A table. Number four. Actually, number four and five, you guys are gonna try it out on your own, okay? So, um, number four. How you solve the problem, show your work. Um, hint, organize the data in a table. So here you're gonna make a table. You're gonna, uh, here you're gonna list the models. And then here are the prices. And then you're gonna list them, okay? And then you're gonna find the uh, second most expensive and then the second least expensive models, okay? And then for number five, you're gonna find the difference. How? By using subtraction, okay? So, see if you guys could get it. And let's move on to comparing numbers. So, we're going to compare the numbers by writing um, less than, greater than, or equal to. So, number one. So, here you guys um, got to look at the place values carefully, okay? So, we have 5.099. And then 5.909. Well, 9 is greater than 0, right? So then 5.9, uh, sorry, 5.099 is less than 5.909. Okay, number 6. Um, 5.314. And then 5.341. Okay, well, the tens, um, values place values the same and then which one's bigger one or four four so again we have less than okay hopefully you guys are familiar with um with less than greater than or equal to so go ahead and finish this page and then let's move on to place values um, write the place value of the underlying digit. Okay, so let's review. So if that's the decimal point, okay, if that's the decimal point, one, two, three, let's go into four place values. The first um, digit is tenths. 
point actually. That's tenths. That is hundredths, right? This is thousands. And then that's ten thousands. Oh my gosh. Okay, ten thousands. Okay. And of course, you, you won't write it like this. You would have to spell it out, but for now, we'll leave it at that. Okay. And then that's the decimal point. Okay. So knowing that, let's let's look at number one. Okay, well let's see the very first digit, which is tenths. Alright. Easy. And then let's look at number two. It is the one, two, three, the third digit. And then the third digit is thousands. Okay, easy. Go ahead and finish the rest and then let's move on to, oh, again, place values. So this time we're gonna write the numbers in expanded form. So the standard form looks like this and then the expanded form looks like this. Okay, so we're given the standard form and let's expand it. So, um, we have 0 0.5, right, plus 0 0.02, right? Why? Because that's the um, hundreds value, right? Two is the hundreds, three is the thousands, and then five is the ten thousands. And so you, you have to have a zero in the front. And then plus 0 0.003, okay? And then lastly, plus 0 0.0005, okay? So notice, notice five here, right? It has three digits before it, right? And then here, it has three zeros before it, okay? So make sure that matches. And then for number two, again, we're gonna do the same thing. We have 9.2. Um, we have, oh, sorry, we have 9.2230, okay? So we're gonna do um, nine plus 0 0.2. Um, the tens value plus zero point zero two, right? Because it's the hundredth value, right? And then for three, it is plus zero point zero zero three. Remember, it's the thousands. And lastly, it's just zero, so we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Um, hopefully that wasn't too hard. And here is your answer key.